In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this animation. I'll show you how the curve was made from scratch. The animation was created by using a curve object. I'll show you an example with this line curve. We can increase the bevel depth and adjust the factor start and end settings to create an animation. But this can only work for the curves that have the start and the end points. It will not work on a curve circle like this one. What will happen if I try to remove a curve point from a curve circle? The beveled shape itself is not affected. How do we completely cut the curve point, so that the beveled portion also gets severed? We need to toggle cyclic in edit mode like this. The trick is to create an illusion of having a complete curve circle. But in reality, we're only extruding the last curve point like this. To retain the curve circle shape, we must rotate the endpoints. Rotate this point as well. Now we can factor start and end. I'll show you the details. The mesh looks like this, because I added an array modifier and used an empty object as its anchor. I rotated the empty object 30 degrees in the Y axis, to have 12 arrayed curve objects in total. 12 and 30, because 12 times 30 is 360. To create a rotating illusion, I have animated the empty object. We can use the factor start or end settings to create a gradual line creation or deletion illusion. This is how the original beveled curve looked like. Here are the material details. By the way, I'm using EV with Bloom turned on.
Please experiment with all the settings to create the best looking result. I believe I have only animated the factor start values. I have animated the empty object's Z rotation value to create a rotating illusion. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.